Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to deploy our web application which is Docs Management System in Heroku using PostgreSQL. For that we have uh, simplified steps, uh, 12 steps here, we will follow each and every step. Uh, first two steps, you know, majority of the students will have already installed or uh, you might have already login credentials of all these. So first let's check whether you have uh, Heroku CLI or not or whether you installed it or not earlier. Okay. So for that you have to go to command line prompt and check for and give a command Heroku login. Okay. So if you get like this, then you are already you have already uh, installed Heroku CLI and you have already credentials for um, heroku.com okay so you might have already an account there okay so right now i already installed downloaded installed cli and i also have the um, hello heroku credentials account okay so let's go to the third step if you don't have the first two things, just go ahead, create a sign up in the first step, and then you could uh, search in uh, Google, download and install Heroku CLI, and you would be able to uh, install it very easily. Okay, so I could show you that. Okay, so this one. Yeah, download and install here, table of contents, first one. Um, I think you could go for Windows. You know, if it is Mac, you could go and install this. If it is Windows, you could install this one, okay? So when you install that, it would download and install automatically for you, okay? So next step is you have to navigate to the project folder in your uh, Eclipse workspace, okay? So in the Eclipse workspace, you have your project, so click the project, and here in the folder path, you could give CMD, which is command line prompt, which automatically opens that particular location in the command line prompt. So there, what you need to do is, so we navigate a third step is done, and we have to use these commands. We need to create a Git repository using Git init, okay? So we need to do that. So this does not, uh, uh, relate anything with your github accounts this is a separate thing that you have to be using so use the command which is uh, given in step four okay so we initialized uh, the git repository here okay and next one is you have to add all the files to the git what files you, you need to add? You need to add all the dog management system files. For that, you would be using this command, add git space dot. Okay, so that means dot represents the current folder, which would be able to add all the files in that current folder into the git repository. Okay, so now it has been successfully added. And let's go and see the third step where you have to do the commit after you add you, you commit that into the git where uh, hyphen m is the message and you would be given within the quotes um, here the let's say dogs like dms project Okay, to deploy. Okay, so now we committed with a message. Okay, so our sixth step is done. And now what we need to do is in the same command line prompt, log into Heroku. So now we will actually start. So far we have done, we, we just committed to the Git. And now what we need to do is we have to log in through Heroku and then we would be able to uh, start deploying it in a appropriate way.
So the step uh, here that we have to see is seventh step. So how to do that? Heroku login. So basically you would be able to type exactly the same things what we have given here. Heroku login. Press any key to open up. I'm clicking enter. So when I when I hit enter, it automatically open up the browser for me. Okay. And then I'm clicking login. So I think I already logged in. So that's why it shows. You know, you could do the uh, credentials there. Okay. If it's not logged in for you. So next. The next step is you have to create an app in Heroku using uh, you app in Heroku using this command create Heroku create unique unique name okay so this unique name will serve you as a URL later on okay you don't have to have a dot there. So unique name should be in the quotes. Okay, so Heroku create, I would say like a COVID learning maybe. COVID learning. So now Heroku will check whether this unique ID matches or not. Okay, so for your uh, assignment purpose, you could give your last name or something like that. Okay. So it's checking. So it's exist. It's not existing. So now it is available for us. So that means we could use this COVID learning um, URL. Okay. So we'll see the next step. Next step is you have to push the code into your Heroku. So so far we have uh, committed that in the Git. Okay, so now we have to push that into Heroku using this command. I'm just copy pasting, okay? You could type those commands because you may not have access to the sheet. It's pushing into Heroku. Okay, it's done. Okay, so to build success, it's done. So basically, now our dogs management system is in Heroku.